Parents across the country are preparing to send kids off to university with semester one beginning right now. Yep, 1.4 million students study at Australian unis and that means a lot of families going through the same range of emotions as teens embrace their new independence and move out of home. So, how do you cope with the nest suddenly feeling a little empty? Well, we've got some help on hand. Parenting expert Lael Stone joins us from Melbourne. Good morning to you. Well, what are some top tips for parents who are preparing their kids? Well, I think the first place we need to start, particularly if your child is moving away to go to university, is really around making sure they've got the practicals down pat. So they know how to use the washing machine and manage their money and, and time and also maybe even know how to clean the bathroom. Because I think even though these are really beautiful skills that our teenagers need to learn as they move into adulthood, I think particularly if they're going away to university, we want to make sure they've got some of these skills down pat so that we're kind of setting them up to win right from the beginning. So how do you tell teenagers that? Because in my limited experience with two teenagers, they don't necessarily want to listen to you. No, well, well sometimes they're, they're going to learn the hard way, aren't they, if they do have to go away from home. But I think as a parent, you know, we try to prepare our kids for the world and I think these practicals are really good things to, uh, to put in place because they'll soon learn pretty quickly, gosh, I really do need to have a handle on this. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the kids' side of it. What about the parents? Because it sneaks up empty nest syndrome, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, and I think it's really important. I mean, I, I really believe from the moment we have those little babies in our hands, we are getting ready to practice letting go and surrendering and and those beautiful little moments that we go through, whether our kids start, you know, kindergarten or school or off to university, where we have to kind of trust their journey and, and learn to let go. And it's really tricky. I think as adults, we need to have uh, a lot of compassion for ourselves. And it's OK to, to feel sad about these phases ending. And I think one of the best things we can do is make sure that we get some listening time for us, talk to someone about these big changes for us because it can feel really, really big. Yeah, this just happened to us and it kind of crept up because mm. you're so busy for so many years and it consumes your life yeah. um, that then suddenly they're gone and suddenly yes. you're driving home in tears going, oh, that's, that yeah. part of my life is gone. I'm mourning yeah. this now. Yeah, and that's really big. You know, I think parenting is all about kind of gains and losses. You know, on one level, you know, it can feel really sad that, you know, our little ones aren't there anymore. But on another level, we're like, oh, there's all this freedom and there's new possibilities for me. So, and I think that's the, the beauty of it, you know, and I think it also makes it so much richer when our beautiful teens do come home um, when oh, we have that family home? time together. Yes, they do, oh, eventually. <laughs> and and it, guess what? They come food, home. food, money or washing? <laughs> yeah. All of those things and and in years to come they come home and go, you know, Mum, you were kind of right about a few things and that's where you sit there and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll write The dark that down. side of the moon yeah. and then they see the light again. <laughs> True. Lael, yeah. Thank you, really appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Do you My have pleasure. advice? Mm. Like what would how what no, would you say? I'm in the morning phase at the moment. I'm yeah. still finding that it's so strange that they've gone and it's an empty house that yeah. I I'm not out the other side. What yet. about leaning on parents that are going through the same mm. thing? Like the the same year group and stuff. Does yeah, that help? there is. There's the WhatsApp group, and we're all in a bit of shock That's at good. the moment. It's only been a couple of weeks. <laughs> no, no, it's not quite sunk in yet. No, it hasn't. Yeah.